I'm scared to even pull this up. That's four, bro. Right, so my radio control, well, not my radio control, but my volume control on my radio isn't working at all. Like for some reason, like check this out. Like I'm dinging with the knobs and nothing, nothing at all. Like no sign on the top that tells me what the volume is. And if I go over here, it's the same deal. Like, I don't know what the hell the issue is. Okay, but the up and down does actually work. I just don't know what the hell is going on. So, we're gonna try something kind of crazy. So I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Put y'all back right here. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the car. You push the left side of the knob in. I'm assuming kind of not hard, but hard enough. And then you put it in accessory and you just hold it. Why doesn't it work? So usually they say if this is like your amp is shot, everything would be like all the lines would be on one side and kind of grayed out, I believe, but it's not. So it can be my amp. So I took all this off, right? And here's my amp. It's just underneath this little kick panel here. Check it out. Like, look. I'm scared to even pull this up. That's full, bro. What the hell? Try to clean it up a little bit and see if I can take this bitch up. This shit, bro. Look at this shit. It's kind of, it's gonna look grainy, but, bro, there's water in there. I want to see if I can fix this damn amp. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to buy a new one. And just quick story: when I first bought this car, no lie, the first thing that I never thought to check was the radio. The radio was shot on this car on top of that. So this car was also rear ended and it, it it didn't show up on the Carfax. Whatever they gave me, I thought it was legit. It was a piece of shit. I bought a freaking lemon. The amp was so shot on this damn car that I went to Lexus just to get a replacement for it and it was $1,600, bro. All right guys, so if you don't know about this, this is like, they call it the hidden menu. Uh, you just hold your menu button down and uh, God, I hate this autofocus. You hold your menu button down and you like turn on and off your parking lights like four times. Um, again, everybody says this at the end of their forum and do it at your own discretion. So I'm looking here and uh, it says that the amp is okay, display is okay, our touch is okay. So let me see if I can do a recheck. And everything seems good, but. Uh, as you guys know, the amp was submerged in water. All right, it was completely trashed. I don't even know if it's still working or not. Now, when I did the failure diagnostic or whatever the hell it is on that hidden feature that lexus has um it said that the amp was okay so i don't know what the deal is exactly i'm um, showing a code that's pretty much saying was it b15 d3 and that was a code that happened the day that this actually went out so i don't know it's it says that the amp was disconnected with which is true because i disconnected it then i also got another code that was for d0 which shows there's a shortage in the stereo system so I'm gonna look for that. Oh no. Oh yeah, it might have been. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Right. I'm gonna test these with the multimeter.
Alright, so I am resulting to this bad boy again. I don't really know if it's going to work or not, but it's worth a shot. Um, when the amp has a little bit of like water condensation, anything moisture-wise, it will, I guess, stop working. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. I want to get the backside now. Ah, fuck. I think I overdid it. I don't even know if that's gonna do anything, but. Let's we'll find out. I think the app is fried. Not that many room. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys could really see, but uh. uh this section right here, I kind of made a little slit and I passed that through. And this is where my amp sentence currently. I wrapped it in a, a little microfiber towel. All right guys, so uh, I, 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 what the fuck was that? I, 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 um, so I honestly decided to pull the trigger and to get my amp fixed and repaired I was honestly looking at certain ways I could get around fixing this amp, and I just absolutely can't. The inside of this amp is fried. It's been confirmed that there's major water damage, and uh, it doesn't work. So it's basically shot. So in this box, I just got my amp back from United Radio. A lot of people know about this, this company, their repair station. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about this company and a lot of people that have this Lexus issue uh, Go to them for a cheaper alternative rather than going out there and buying a new Amp which I mean the amp is like close to I think it's I, I thought it was like four or five hundred dollars, but it's like literally I think was it eight to a thousand so after that I'm not paying that to be honest with you I could have put the extra money to get, you know, the, a brand new amp. But, again, I don't even know if this is the problem or not. So, I didn't want to take that risk. So, we'll see. I got the battery disconnected. We're going to wait about 10 minutes to give it a full reset. Almost slapped myself in the face. Ooh. It's my amp. Apparently, brand new. I mean... I don't know why, but it's still got the little rust spot there. I mean, you could have cleaned that up, guys. Jesus. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right, let me go plug on back this battery. I don't know why, but I'm always so scared of freaking electric stuff. So let's go see if we got some sounds. Overexposes. Why is it so damn bright today? Oh my god, please, please let this work. Okay, that's normal. Oh, please. I'm supposed to press it on? Oh. About to say. Cross the fingers right here, yo. Oh my god. I'm so stressed in this right now. There's supposed to be sound already, I think, right? Oh! 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 <laughs> Let me put some tunes on. I gotta put some, like, non-copyrighted shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy right now, yo. You have no idea. Oh. This is freaking fire, bro. <laughs> yo, you don't understand how happy I am right now. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, I'm fucking tearing a little bit, yo. <laughs> yo, it's... Wow, because you know how long I had no music? It's been so long, and it's crazy because it's like, 
I know it's not a big issue, but it is a big issue because it's like an expensive one. And what I mean is that some people think that amps are just cheap. Like they're literally just like, you know, $500, $400, which is something, but it's like not compared to $800 to $1,000. You could take that same money and literally go to a pro stereo shop, like, you know, pro line here in Brooklyn, which is great. Spend that money and get I mean, a decent setup, but then you would have to run an aftermarket radio, which is not what I wanted to do. Because in order for, and I believe, I, might, I may be wrong, but in order for you to run your stock head unit, you would have to have your amp working. Because everything runs through that, that amp, sound, speakers, all of that. So it's just one of those things that's like, I was really going the route of actually thinking about getting an aftermarket radio. Because I didn't want to spend that money on sixteen hundred dollars from lexus or a thousand dollars from the the websites and it's just like oh my god yo united radio thank you so much literally um the guy that actually suggested them to me thank you so much as well and bro i have i have music now so yes i did have to pay 650 for the amp but that's because of the water damage and Without the water damage and you just have a bad amp or you sus you suspect it's a bad amp, then it's uh I think it's like 450 or 400 some some along those lines something along those lines. So about to blast music driving down the highway. Although I hate doing that. Uh, grateful, yo, grateful, just super grateful. And just keep this in mind as well. Honestly, I paid 650 dollars to get this amp repaired. And the reason being is because I had water damage, and they let you know ahead of time. That when you send this amp in and there is water damage, you would obviously have to pay a little bit more depending on how bad the water damage is. So, Lexus, you did a horrible job putting that amp there. Love the cars, love the, you know, styling and all that. But whoever did the engineering to put that amp there is needs to be fired. Like, gone, bro. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, definitely consider subscribing. I know it ain't much. And I don't do these videos for the views. I do the videos just to get it out there. Later on, I can look back in life and say, damn, I did YouTube for a little bit. You know what I mean? So thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all. And uh, hope you, you know, hope you don't run into the situation or you could at least fix the situation before it gets worse. So uh, definitely check out your trunk. Make sure there's no water in there. And if there is, get that amp out of there for now. And uh, we need to, I definitely need to figure out a solution as to, how to fix that, I think I might just take out that uh, that clip and just silicone it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Sorry it wasn't much of a video. I really wish I had the time to go take out that, that, that clip and put everything back in, but I got music now. I don't wanna put that, that amp back in just yet. I need to figure out a better way because it could be somewhere else where the water's getting in, so. Peace.